As a professional driver, you encounter many different challenges on a daily basis. You never know what each trip has in store for you. Road construction, a pickup that's not ready, lousy weather, inattentive motorists. You simply can't control every situation that can impact your safety. But there are others that you can and must control. It's your job. Cargo securement is an important part of your job as a professional driver. And remember, your load is secured properly only when it will not move. Anything less, it is not secure. As we all know, some terrible incidents and crashes have resulted because of poor load distribution and improper and ineffective securement. The Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, the FMCSA, has set forth regulations for cargo securement. During this program, we will address the basic requirements of those regulations, as well as simple good practice, focusing specifically on flatbed and other open trailers. For more details regarding these regulations and your company's related policies and procedures, check with your safety director. According to the regs, a driver must not operate a commercial vehicle if the load isn't properly secured. In turn, the motor carrier must not allow a driver to transport a load that is not sufficiently secured. This regulation is for your own safety, for the safety of other motorists, and for the safety of your load. For all of these reasons, proper cargo securement is not only vital, it's the law. Well, to properly know the regulations, you have to understand where securement has to take place, uh, how many chains or binders might be needed, and then it's, it's important that they do that properly so that the load stays secure and that uh, there's no shifting of the load or part of the load perhaps falling off, which could injure the motoring public or the driver. With a flatbed trailer, it's very important that the uh, freight be secure to the trailer so while the driver's uh, between loading and delivering, freight stays on the trailer, it's protected, and, and it delivers claim free. As a past driver, uh, would, when I was securing my load, think, you know, if, if, if I pulled up beside this truck and saw the way that I had this load secured, would I feel safe around this rig on the highway? So that, I believe that's how most drivers look at it today. As a flatbed hauler, your job probably includes helping load your cargo or supervising the loading of your cargo. Either way, your responsibility starts before the actual loading begins. During your pre-trip inspection, take time to carefully inspect the trailer. This includes checking items that are necessary to properly secure your load and ensure safety. Examine the trailer frame and undercarriage for cracks and the wheels, rims, and tires for visible signs of damage. Check the suspension for cracks, damage, or excessive wear. And make sure your trailer brakes are in good working order and are properly adjusted. Pay particular attention to the front end header board, or headache rack as some drivers call it. Just as the name indicates, it's intended to protect the driver from any cargo that could come through the tractor cab if the load suddenly shifted forward. Make sure the header board is not damaged in any way. If it's defective, your safety is at risk. Also, examine tarps and securement devices to make sure they're undamaged and in good working condition. State laws vary as to what types of cargo must be covered. Know the specific laws of the states you travel in. Spill protection covering is also required in many states, and most states require sand, gravel, and small stone loads to be covered as well. Certain types of cargo must be covered in order to protect it from the elements. You are responsible if your load becomes damaged en route. The pre-trip inspection is very important for the driver. Without that inspection, he can never know what condition his load is in, his straps, his binders, um, the chains. If they're tight, you have to have a pre-trip inspection to know if these things are ready to go. You don't get on the road without being certain that everything is correct. With regard to load securement, nothing is more important. Because if you do start out your trip with a strap that's already cut, uh, chances are by the time you end that trip that that, that device will be broken. By checking the bill of lading, you can determine the best way to distribute and secure the type of cargo you'll be hauling. Pre-trip planning goes a long way as well. Your gross vehicle weight or gross combination vehicle weight will play a role in which roads you're permitted to travel on. Steep inclines and rough roads can add stress to your securement system, particularly with a flatbed. 
Pre-trip planning will help you to avoid unnecessary situations that may affect your load securement.